<laughs> oh, hey, this is Gatorex, and Birdkeeper Toby is actually running the Wants to Battle tag yet again for this year. And in the debut video, he actually tagged me alongside some other great Pokemon creators. So I figured I'd go ahead and answer the questions and uh, let, let's have some fun. Also, of course, I am still a little under the weather, so I figured it'd be fun to do a different unscripted video like this. And uh, in this format, let me know what you think about it. So the first question is, what's your favorite Pokemon of Scarlet? Scarlet and Violet. And of course, I think we all know the answer to this. It is Foy Coco's final evolution, very obviously, Skeledurge. I did a whole video about it the other day. But aside from that, I did really like the brand new pseudo legendary, I think it's a pseudo legendary, uh, Backscalibur. You know, it's a big blue dragon, of course I love it. Question 2. Why did you choose your username? Well, originally, my YouTube username was Feraligator Rex, two words. Of course, the Feraligator Evolution line is my favorite in the entire game, and Rex has always been a nickname slash username, so I just used both of them. However, I think Feraligator Rex was too long of a name, so I just kind of shortened it to Gator Rex. That's right, it is Gator Rex, not Gator EX, because it's Gator and Rex just smushed together. And of course, the EX is capitalized as a reference to the Pokemon EX cards from back in Generation 3. Generation 6, and now coming back in Generation 9. Question 3, what is the best video you made this year? Well, that's a great question, because I think I made a lot of good and fun videos this year. Probably one of my favorites, I'd say, that I would recommend to anybody, is the Pokemon Evolutions Mega Review. That one's a great one. Watch until the very end for the big feels. Aside from that, there are a lot of other fun videos. The one about Volo was pretty cool. The video about the games that PETA made to parody Pokemon is such a fun one, and I think it's a little underrated. And then, of course, there are all the big videos about the character redesigns in Pokemon. Question 4, what can you expect to see on the channel in the coming year? Well, certainly after Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has run its course, I'd definitely like to take a look at some of the other spin-off games in the franchise. Whether it be through streams or dedicated videos, I would definitely like to get back to some dedicated videos on specific games. But aside from that, we'll see what else the year brings. Question 5, are there any big milestones I'm looking forward to? Well, of course, hitting 69,000 subscribers would be really nice. I'll I'll drop the OC lore video at 69,000 subscribers. <laughs> but aside from that, there's not too much else in terms of numerical subscriber goals because in the past two years, whenever I've set that, I end up passing that like halfway through the year. And of course, just in general, I just want to try tackling some bigger projects and topics. You know, videos longer than 10 minutes, but we'll see what happens. Question 6. Recommend a channel with less subscribers that I think people would love. So I'm just going to name a few channels that I personally have been watching this year that I think you should check out. First of all is Easy Doodles, who does a lot of art related videos and animated retellings of Pokemon challenges. They're really fun to watch. Next is Gopier, who does videos diving more into the mechanics and code of how certain events in Pokemon work. That's just really important stuff to know as a community for preservation's sake. And they're just so interesting. And then there's Shiny Catherine, who does a lot of videos, obviously, about shiny hunting in terms of tutorials, challenges, and just other gameplay stuff. There's been a lot of cool videos about Legends Arceus specifically earlier this year. You should also check out Not So Ace Trainer, who was also tagged by Toby in his video, but I'll go ahead and recommend here as well. He does a lot of theory, discussion, analysis videos, and is honestly probably the most consistent Poketuber I've ever seen. And Dusty Goga was also tagged by Toby in his original video, you should check him out, he's got a lot of other type of discussion videos, specifically stuff about current things going on in Pokemon as well as the future. And the last question is to tag some other people, which goes along with the channels that you should definitely check out. First of all is Umbreon Libris, who has a wide variety of videos on topics that you just wouldn't necessarily think to connect to Pokemon right away. And what I love is that a lot of these are just huge projects that also bring in opinions from other people in the Pokemon community. And secondly, I would also like to tag Tam Valley Productions, who does some great theory videos, as well as a lot of just amazing videos about game concepts and fake mon. So I'll have a link to all of those channels in the description. But anyway, thank you for joining me for this Wants to Battle tag. I hope everything turned out fine with it being an unscripted video, and I hope my voice sounded alright. Thank you so much to Toby for tagging me in that initial video, and thank you to everyone watching, including all channel members, especially the great Gators, Jackson, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Phantom Pyro, Quago, Volady, and Pastel Blood. But anyway, this has been Gatorx. I gotta get back to getting better, and I'll catch you all later. Pokemon Returns to Cartoon Network with brand new episodes, Monday through Thursday at 8 on Cartoon Network.